Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm Player B, Series B's I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. It is rather beautiful out today, much to my dismay. But we'll get into that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to around about for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I am inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, I don't think I've ever worn this one in any of my reviews. Because it's my boom! It is my... Yeah, it's the... Yeah, it's my Pacific Rim shirt. What with the gypsy danger and such. Yeah, man, um, I've had this shirt for a while. Like, I don't wear it all that often. Like, it's a cool shirt, but it's a little bit small on me. Uh, but I've lost a little weight recently. A little bit, let me emphasize a little bit. So I was feeling a bit confident. I was like, eh, you know, we'll give it a go. It's a little bit snug still. I definitely need to drop a few more pounds before I can wear it comfortably. But, eh. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with Pacific Rim, and let me emphasize the first Pacific Rim... Not that garbage cheap that the second one was. Uh, I really enjoy the first Pacific Rim. Although I will say it's a as a as a movie, it's not it's not aged tremendously well. Like it hasn't aged poorly, but yeah, it's definitely one of those things where even at the time I had certain issues with it. But as time has gone by, I've kind of been able to address it a little bit more and be like, eh, okay. But I do still really love the concept. I think that you know. A lot of the designs for the mechs and the kaiju were really cool. You know, I, it's still a fun movie to go back to. The first one. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, like I said, it is a beautiful day today. Uh, I'm not a huge beautiful day person, though, let's be honest. I'm more of an overcast, like, 60 degree kind of day person. But it's really nice out, and I decided, what the hell, man, I'll, I'll make use of that. So I decided I was going to get an order from... KFC, because KFC has a uh, thing going on right now. They just introduced a new line of product called Saucy Nuggets, and I reviewed three of their flavors already, and basically just left two that I needed to get to, so boom, we're doing the Nashville Hot version this time around, and this is actually pretty cool because they used to have Nashville Hot available as a sauce. Uh, for some of their products, like, a couple years ago. That and the Georgia Gold, so they brought those two back. I figure, what the hell, man, we'll do this. Um, and they even have a deal going on where if you order online, you spend more than 10 bucks, you get an order of Saucy Nuggets for free. So that's what I did. I got some Saucy Nuggets, I got a pot pie, and then I got a free order of Saucy Nuggets. So there we go. So let's try out some Nashville Hot with the smoky, spicy heat. Right. And one thing I have learned with the Saucy Nuggets, you do want to go over there and kind of mix them around, because the, I don't know the way that they distribute the sauce, but yeah, sometimes they're not all that great in terms of uh, really getting that proper coating on there. So, we'll kind of, <laughs> it really takes some effort. And I've, by the way, I have reviewed just their normal nuggets and stuff like that. So, you know, if you just want that. But, let me try out the... Yeah, like I said, you got to kind of move them around a bit. Because otherwise, yeah, they're just not coated that great. So, let's go like this. And then let's go like... Ha 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 ha! Let's try out some saucy nuggets. That's proper. That's proper. I'm down with that. I always remember liking their Nashville Hot when they had it available for their sandwiches. Um, this definitely kind of reignites that, that enjoyment. And I will mention real quickly, like, just the overall nuggets. Um, 
I'm perfectly fine with the KFC Nuggets, but I will admit they're a little bit small compared to some other Nugget varieties. Uh, but they do have the advantage or disadvantage, depending on who you are and what you enjoy, where they are KFC. So, you know, they've got those herbs and spices. They are that KFC chicken. Um, definitely a more premium nugget than, say, you know, like your Burger Kings and your uh, your McDonald's. But again, size-wise, they're a little bit small, but they're good. I've never had any issue with them or anything, but I will say I don't think they're, like, top-of-the-line nuggets or anything. But they're good. They're nice. They're tender. The exterior's got a nice little crunch to it, so I can get down with it. As for the Nash Nashville hot sauce... It's good. It's got a lot of flavor. And it does. It has that smoky heat to it. It's not crazy hot by any stretch of the imagination. But it kind of gives you a little burn. Kind of lingers on the tongue just a little bit. Mostly it's just kind of a radiating heat at the back of the throat. It's good. Like, yeah. I think, you know, when it comes down to this whole thing with the Nashville hot stuff, obviously... If you want Nashville hot proper, you're probably going to have to go to Nashville and, you know, get it as part of the whole thing. Um, but, at the same time, I've certainly had any number of, you know, occasions up here in Illinois where things have been Nashville hot flavored, where I've enjoyed them quite a bit. In regards to these, this isn't the best Nashville hot incarnation I've ever had, but it is tasty. And I think out of the sauces that I've tried so far, which was like the Georgia Gold, the Sweet and Sour, the hell is the other one? The Sriracha Honey. I th I'd put this one kind of somewhere in the middle. I like it more than like the Georgia Gold, uh, not as much as the Sriracha Honey, maybe around the same as the Sweet and Sour. But it's good. And I think that it does... Even though it's not the best representation of that Nashville heat, I do think that it's evocative of it. You know, like it's, you're not going to assume that it's just any other normal hot sauce, you know, variety. It does have that very distinct kind of smoky Nashville hot flavor. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with yes, and yes, but a little bit of a caveat on that. For me personally, like I said, I wouldn't put it as my outright favorite. I think the Honey Sriracha is still personally my favorite, although I do have one more to go, uh, which I'm going to be reviewing after this. It's the green barbecue one. But, um, you know, I think this one has a lot of personality. In terms of flavor, I think it has a really solid flavor to it. The heat level is nice. I'd probably prefer it more on a chicken sandwich, if I'm being entirely honest. I think that, again, I remember when they used to offer it on chicken sandwiches, and I always really liked that. Um, but even on the nuggets, they're good. Like, there's, you know, it works. And I guess with the nuggets, you know, you do have kind of the advantage where you can sort of, you know, move the nuggets around in the sauce a little bit, you know, to your wishes how much covering you want. But I personally, I would, I would get this uh, particular flavor again. If I'm going over there recommending them, I am. But, again, there's the caveat. Number one, there is a heat to it. It's not crazy hot, but it is one of those things where, I think especially if you were eating them in sequence, you know, within relative close proximity to one another, which is typically how you do nuggets, I would imagine. Um, yeah, you know, it builds up a little bit. So if you're somebody you're not into the spicy stuff, I would maybe, you know, veer away from this one. The other thing is, I mean, if you're looking for proper Nashville hot, obviously this isn't it. You know, this is the KFC interpretation of it. But it works. Anyway, five things for I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your folks. You can have yourselves a truly Nashville hot-tastic rest of your life. Which, by the way, I literally just today went over there and posted up. I did a review of uh, some Nashville hot Fritos. So go check out that review. Follow two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. 
And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there, at least try. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, do you have any particular opinions on Pacific Rim? Uh, did you see it when it comes out? Did you see the sequel? If so, you know, kind of where are you on that whole thing? Um, you know, and for me personally, I enjoy the first film still. I will forever, though, I will forever never forgive them for going over there and completely wasting uh, Cherno Alpha and, oh, I can't remember the Chinese one. He was like, cr Crimson something? I can't remember, goddammit. It drives me nuts. But Crimson Typhoon? I want to say it was Crimson Typhoon. Like, they were the coolest designs, man. Like, all the other ones were super generic, like, brr, I'm just the clearly the hero mech. And it's like, then you had the two awesome-looking ones, and, ah, man, bugs the hell out of me. To this day, Cherno Alpha is still far and away my favorite. I don't care that he, you know, that they died relatively quick. Spoilers, I guess. Um, don't care. Still far and away my favorite. Love him. Should do a whole movie just about the Cherno Alpha team. I'm just saying. But anyway, bye.